So hardware on Linux can sometimes be a little, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, hard to deal with, mainly because you're at a terminal, right? And unless you've got a GUI environment like Scott probably does, uh, hardware can sometimes be difficult to find, especially if you're coming from a background where you had a GUI. Certain other graphical operating systems have a really nice tree-based uh, listing of hardware, so it's sometimes easier to find stuff. And if you don't know the right tools, maybe you can't find those things on Linux. So we're here to show you some of those tools. The first thing, which has existed like forever, is just plain old slash dev. Everything that shows up on a Linux machine ends up in dev, every piece of hardware, right? And some of these are like virtual devices. Some of them are, if you set up like a multipath device, it'll show up as a virtual device here. If you have an LVM, they'll be under dev mapper. You'll have an LVM virtual device that maps to a physical disk or like the logical thing that is your virtual disk. And then, of course, there's things like actual drives, right? Like these VD devices, uh, VDA one through four. That's So VDA is my first virtual hard drive that's connected to this machine because this is a VM. VDA one is the first partition on that. VDA two is the second partition on that, right? So you can see where that's going. If you've got a SCSI device or a, a SATA device, it'll show up as SD instead of VD. Old days of IDE drives, they showed up as HDA, HDB, right? So there's a lot of different uh, nomenclatures there that you might be might want to be aware of. But that's where you're going to find things like hard drives. So if you attach the new hard drive, it'll show up here as a dev VD, dev SD, something. And I think there's another, yeah, there's two others for NVMe disks, show up as NVMe 0, NVMe 1, right? And don't SD cards show up as a different structure as well, I think. I could be wrong on that. It's like MMC BLK or something like that because it's more like a memory card. I've not seen that one. I've seen some weird hardware RAID controllers show up as different things. Software RAIDs will show up as MD, I think, because MD Atom is what created them. So there's a lot of different ways that these might show up. But usually a device like that within a letter and then a number, it's possible because that's like a common, common formatting for disk devices. All right, so enough about disks. Okay, there is one other storage device I wanted to talk about, and that's this dev CD-ROM. See that there? If we do an ls-l on dev CD-ROM, you're going to see that it's a link to SR0. And I don't know what SR actually stands for, but I know that is commonly used for CD-ROM drives or SCSI CD-ROM drives. And you'll see later with some of the tools that we're looking at, the CD-ROM drive on this machine actually shows up as a SCSI device, right? So I guess that's why it's SR0. But that's where you're going to find if you have a physical CD-ROM or DVD-ROM connected to your machine, it won't change based on DVD versus CD. It'll still say CD-ROM, which goes back to the old days when these were all CDEs. Optical discs were all CDs. So if you've got either a virtual or physical CD-ROM connected or an ISO, if I attached an ISO to this machine to do like an installation or something, it'll still show up as dev CD-ROM or dev SR0 or whatever you're mapped to. All right, let's see. The next thing I wanted to show you all was these TTY devices. Now there is a bunch of uses for TTY or a bunch of device types that show up as TTYs. Some of these are virtual consoles, right? Some of these map directly to virtual consoles within the system. If you were to send characters to that TTY, they'll show up on that particular console. Not like terribly useful, but also could be useful depending on what, it, like how people use your system and things like that. If you can tell what TTY someone's on, you can send them a message or send them an alert. You can automatically send alerts. Go ahead, Scott. Uh, Nate, if you run the TTY command on your shell right there, you'll see what TTY device goes with it. Look at that. I'm on dev PTS zero. Probably, I think that's because I'm a remote shell, not a local shell. Yeah. These, there's also special TTYs that are these TTY capital S and then a number. These are actually mapped to serial ports. So if you remember in the days when we had physical nine pin serial ports on the back of our physical machines that you could then communicate with certain types of hardware. I don't know, in the old days, you'd, you'd use like a modem this way. There's serial to serial communication between two machines if you wanted to talk over a serial connection. There's also things like console connections to network gear that you might be using a serial port for. But this, you'll use a, a terminal emulator to connect to that serial port. Or in a Linux world, you can literally just use like cat, right? Was it cat? Now, no, there, there was are... a serial that I've forgotten. 
there are some super basic serial oh screen is what i'm thinking of you can use screen to just like connect to a serial port and then you've got a terminal on that port that's what i was thinking of you can use cat to send commands to it but probably not a good thing because you might not see the result of the command so ttys and then a number will be a serial port or a serial device if you have a usb device that emulates a serial port that'll show up as tty usb and then a number right so not every USB thing you plug in shows up that way. Scott and I were tinkering with this before the show so we could try to make sure we're giving you the right information. Things like block devices connected on USB don't show up as TTY USB. But a serial port, or I was using the example, I have a little radio that's plugged into my home assistant machine. That shows up as a serial connection because that's how Linux, Linux talks to the radio that's on the thing. That shows up as a TTY USB and then a number, right? 